What's up, y'all? Just wanted to jump on here today real quick to encourage you guys. I got my Bible right here. I want to encourage you guys. I have five encouraging Bible verses to get you all through the day. All right? Five encouraging Bible verses to get you through today. Because some of y'all woke up and y'all ain't feeling too good today. Or you might have a little doubt about something today. But I'm going to encourage y'all because we should encourage one another. All right. So Bible verse number one. All right. Remember I told y'all you got to keep your Bibles on. You see how I got highlights and all that in here. You got to make sure you, you know, so you can go back and, and, and make notes. All right. All right. That's just a little, a little advice from MKCJ. All right. So Bible verse number one. Isaiah 41 and 10, it says, So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will upload you with my righteous right hand. That's Bible verse number one. And the word dismayed means stress. So when he says do not be dismayed, that means don't worry about it. I'm God. I got it under control. Chill out. I got you. Let me handle that. Y'all got that? Isaiah 41 and 10. That was for somebody. All right. Now this one right here is for somebody else. John. John 16 and 33. It reads, I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble. Y'all heard that? It's going to happen. But take heart. I have overcome the world. Now, you got a man like Jesus Christ telling you, like, you know, you're going to have trouble. But don't worry about those troubles because I have overcome the world. Man, so you got somebody telling you again, chill out. If I if I overcome the world, then none of the problems you worry about, just give them to me. And I handle for you. So that's two Bible verses telling y'all just to chill out and cast your cares on the Lord. My third Bible verse, all right? Because I'm going to encourage y'all. Five encouraging Bible verses that's going to get you through today, all right? Number three, Psalms 46 and 1. It reads, God is our refuge and ever-present help in trouble. Y'all know what a refuge is, all right? Do y'all know Psalms 46 and 1 says God is our refuge? A refuge is safe or shelter when you're in danger. <clears throat> Excuse me. Safe and shelter when you're in danger. Man, so if I feel like I'm in danger, I run to my refuge. God got it, okay? That's encouraging verse number three. Number four. Verse number four. I'm going to 2 Timothy, 2 Timothy uh, 1 and 7. For God did not give us a spirit of timidity, but a spirit of power, of love, and self-discipline. Do y'all know what timidity means? It means lack of courage. Now, God did not give us the spirit of lack of courage. God wants you to have courage because if I got courage, I'm getting ready to go to war, and I got two little dudes behind me. I'm kind of, I don't know, man. I got 5,000 people. I'm getting ready to fight, and I got these two little dudes behind me. But if I'm getting ready to go to war, and it's 5,000 people in front of me, and I got 10,000 people who got my back, man, you know how much courage I got? God is that 10,000 people who got your back. So there's no need for y'all to not have courage. God didn't give us that spirit. He wants us to be strong and have courage. So that's number four, yeah, right? And last but not least, and it was hard picking these five because it's really like a million verses in the Bible, right? But number five, I'm going to turn to Psalms 55 and 22. I had a mark in here already. It says, cast. First word is cast. You know, the word cast means throwing something forcefully in a specific direction. So here's my troubles. I'm taking it forcefully and I'm casting them to the Lord. Like, God, you got this. Cast 
your cares on the Lord. He will sustain. Y'all know what the word sustain mean? The word sustain means strengthen or support physically or mentally. Y'all got that? Strengthen or support physically or mentally. So now I'm going to cast. I'm going to throw whatever I'm going through. My cares, whatever it is, I'm going to cast them on the Lord. I'm going to grow, throw something forcefully, my cares, unto the Lord in his direction. All right? Cast your cares on the Lord, and he will sustain you. He will never let the righteous fall. See, you have to live by the word. If you do this, live by this, he will never let you fall. All right. Now, those are five encouraging Bible verses that are going to help you guys get through the day. I really hope this inspires somebody because God told me to get on here and encourage someone today. All right. I was going to do something totally different. I was going to tell a story about something that happened in my past that would encourage somebody. But I'm pretty sure with these five verses because I only do what God tells me to do going to help someone, okay? Five encouraging Bible verses that's going to help y'all get through the day. Five. Not four. Not three. Not two. Not four. But five. I hit y'all with five. Hey, man, I'm about to sign out. Just want to jump on here real quick. Just a little quick, you know, hit with it and go. I hope y'all have a wondrous, prosperous day. And remember, cash your cares on the Lord. God's going to handle it. He got your back. Have courage. Don't, don't have lack of courage. And just give your cares to the Lord. All right? Hey, man, I love y'all. Y'all also check out my YouTube videos. I did one last night, man. I did some fajitas last night. Some shrimp and avocado fajitas. Oh, and then Saturday, I did a breakfast with French toast. What a pecan French toast. Man, so y'all got to check all that stuff out, right? Hey, man, I love y'all. Keep following me on, on f Facebook, Creative Cooking with Master King Chef J-Rod. Check me out on Instagram, Chef underscore J-Rod. And then y'all keep telling people, like, share, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I love y'all. God bless y'all. And I'm here for you. You guys need anything from me? Man, so many people have has reached out to me. I'm, I'm talking about people who have YouTube channels, people who have kids in trouble. So many people have reached out to me. And guess what? I reach right back because I am doing the work of the Lord. And I can't have y'all, you know, telling me what you're going through. And I'm not able to help you guys because everything you guys are going through, you know, God gave you guys a way out. And if I can't help you guys with that way out, I mean... That's what God put me here for. So continue to shoot me with the emails. Uh, some of y'all, some people has, has even called me. I'm not going to get my number out to everybody because I've been getting called all day. But, man, if you got a problem, you need prayer, you, you want to go to school, you need some encouraging words, you need advice, not just about cooking, about life in general. Because if y'all look at my past videos, I've been through a lot, and that's just only the tip of the iceberg. I ain't telling y'all everything. So, man, you guys need me. I'm here for you. Just hit me up in my DM or send me an email at J-E-R-O-D-W-I-L-C-H-E-R -E -E at gmail.com. All right? Hey, man, I'm about to be out because I got some stuff I need to do. I love you. I just want to jump on here real quick and encourage somebody. God bless. Oh, always keep God first in your life and everything will fall into place. Now I'm out, for real. Like, for real, for real. God bless.